Hello, this is 5-Minute Manga Reviews. This is a series in which I review the current manga I'm reading and tell you what I think of it in 5 minutes or less. Today's manga, Inaka Nikairu Toyokeni Natsuita Kanshoku Ponytail Shotogairu, or A Vacation with the Ponytail Tan Boy. This is a slice of life rom com featuring a tan shota as a main love interest. Now, for those of you unaware of what a shota is, you might be familiar with the term lolly. Lolly is a little girl, now shota is a little boy. Got that? Okay. This is a seinen, so this is for a far more mature audience, so any viewer who is too childish to appreciate the cultured taste of boy love can look away now. Anyways, the main plot of the story is a university student by the name of Ichihashi Kohei travels back to his family's house in a rural town for summer vacation. He stays with his grandmother and his younger cousin Kei. Now the first thing that comes to Kohei's attention is that his younger cousin has grown out his hair into a ponytail. We see immediately that Kohei has already started seeing his cousin in a different light. Now at first Kohei and Kei share a very brotherly bond. Kei likes to call him his Oni-chan, and Kohei treats his cute little cousin like a brother. But as the series progresses, we see Kohei slowly change how he views Kei. At first, he only thinks about how his cousin has really nice hair. Then he sees how soft his skin is, and notices the supple curves of his figure. Then he's reminded too much of how his cousin resembles a cute tomboy. And for the most part, this change seems to be reciprocated, Kei goes from wanting his cousin's attention to thinking about Kohei in a more charming sort of sense. Though awkwardly their relationship may progress, it is still at a snail's pace which is comfortable for a slice of life series. The change in their relationship is slow, Kohei wasn't initially into the ideas of little boys or incest, but things can change with time. New friends are introduced as the story goes on, but the main point of focus remains Kei and Kohei. They obviously care about each other like family, so it creates this awkward but cute atmosphere every time one of them realizes that they are starting to feel a different type of love towards the other. I particularly like the art style of this manga. It's the right kind of cute without it being too over the top. It shows a cute, wholesome relationship delve into the taboo without losing the cute factor. You see the exact moment a man rediscovers the Hellenistic ideals of pederasty. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I give the manga an 8 out of 10. Pretty good slice of life. If you're into the Shota, or you simply don't mind it and you like the slice of life, I recommend it. The series is cute, it's comfy, and most importantly, it's fucking gay. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you next time.